of us, Neiman the Raya, requesting permission to dock with the Raya. Our system has your ship flagged as Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Probably butchering that, but here we are nonetheless. After completing Grunt and Morden's loyalty missions simultaneously, just about on Tachanka, we have now arrived at the migrant fleet to help Tally. All right, let's go. Ah, the migrant fleet, a fleet of 50,000 craft holding over 17 million quarians. The migrant fleet is the largest array of space-faring vessels in the known galaxy. Though quarians on pilgrimage have visited most settled worlds in the galaxy, few outsiders have ever stepped foot inside quarian ships. All right, let's dock. So I've decided on the tally mission to raise my renegade level as far as I can before we do some 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 loyalty missions that rely heavily on renegade score. And we're just about done as you can see the circles underneath the uh, crew members here, those orange circles, those are everyone that we have done their loyalty missions. So we have Thane and we have Jack and we have Samara after this one. All right. Uh, who will we get to accompany us? Yes. Why not? I heard there was a budding romance going on there. Let's go. Okay, everybody's pretty much leveled up. And Tally, what have we got for you? The Katana, that's a good choice. Yeah, you can use Vindicator. Okay, we're ready. Polidora Vasnima Naraya, requesting permission to dock with the Raya. Our system has your ship flagged as Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle 17. Captain Shepard, Tally Zora told me a lot about you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. Well, before we get started, it's Commander Shepard, not Captain. I never actually reached the rank of Captain. Technically, I'm no longer in the Alliance military at all. You're the commander of the Normandy, responsible for the lives aboard it. That entitles you to respect among our people. May you stand between your crew and Har as you lead them through the empty quarters of the stars. Keep us alive. It's an old ship captain's blessing, Shepard. All right, well, let's find out why Tally is on trial. What are the charges against Tally, Captain? The charge is treason, and the punishment if she is found guilty is exile. You know me, Captain. You know I never do that. 
They're charging you with bringing active Geth into the fleet as part of a secret project. That's insane. I never brought active Geth aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. <laughs> you did what? You sent Geth materials back to the migrant fleet? Yes, my father was working on the project. He needed the materials. If I sent back something that was only damaged, not permanently inactive, no... No, no, I checked everything. I was careful. Technically, I'm under orders to place Tali Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tali, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. Alright, go to the hearing. And what else? Alright, so we have a codex on the Corian ships. Alright, I just wanted to make sure because um, Garrus was kind of quiet back there, but he is with us. Okay, let's go. I can't believe they're charging Talizora with such a thing. I can't either. If Talizora can't even get a Corian captain to stand for her, she's as good as convicted. Wow, Tally, don't listen. Don't listen to what they're saying. Wait, was there somebody I was supposed to talk to? There was a... Um, there was a name that showed up. Captain... Not all humans are bad, but this Oh, that's the captain we already talked to, right? You should speak with Admiral Ra. She's waiting for you up ahead. Okay. Sorry. I can't believe they're charging Tali Zora with such a... If Tali Zora can't even get a question, it's a Shalaran? Tali Zorobas Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. Auntie Ron! Shepherd Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaran Vas Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron, you called me Vas Normandy. I am afraid I did, Tali. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nima. Hmm. And what does her name matter? I take it being associated with the human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tali. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zorabas Nima. Whatever we must call you legally. And I, I've just got to comment on the voice acting. I mean, this woman, I don't know the actress name that is uh, her Aunt Ron or whatever. Love it. I mean, I, I've loved, she has a, a very unique and distinct voice. And I'm just, you know, the production quality of this Mass Effect 2 was just way over the top. I mean, we have got, nothing has ever come close to this. Just amazing. Bioware. I know we will never see another Mass Effect, especially in the state that the company is in now, and who knows what's going to happen. But this game should be your blueprint for anything else that comes next. Especially Mass Effect, if, if for some reason it ever comes back, which I doubt it, but anyhow. All right. And let's ask now, are you part of the trial? You're an admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tali and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tali. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. All right, we should go in. I guess we should get started. Does Tally have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side? Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. So, uh, you would actually speak for my defense? Hmm. This is unexpected. It would have been helpful to know about this earlier, Tally. Our legal rules are simple. There are no legal tricks or political loopholes for you to worry about. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come, 
I promised that I would not delay you. This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us alive. The accused Tali Zora of Us Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Then you should not have declared Tali crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right as Tali's captain, Shepard must stay. Hmm. You heard that, Chorus. Objection withdrawn. Absolutely. Shepard vs. Normandy. Your crew member Tali Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? Uh-uh. No. Do you see what I see, people? Do you see the red? You know Shepard cannot hold back. It's got to be Renegade. Look at her record. I shouldn't have to. When Tally helped me stop Saren and his Geth army, her actions spoke for themselves. Without her help, none of you would be alive to put her on trial today. Well said, Shepard. None of us should forget Tally's contributions to the fleet. Tally, you're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? She couldn't have done this. How could Tally have brought guests to the fleet while serving on the Normandy? To clarify, Shepard, Tally isn't accused of bringing back entire units, only parts that could spontaneously reactivate. But I would never send active guests to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lampship where your father was working. Uh-oh. Oh no. What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Your father included. What? Oh, Kila. Here it is, people. Renegade again. You have got a lot of nerve. I thought Borians valued family. How do you justify springing this on Tally in the middle of a damn trial? Our apologies. Tally should have been informed. Absolutely. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile... I'm looking for my father, you bastard! You intend to retake the Alarai from the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. Hmm. If it proves her loyalty. You think Tally's helping the Geth? Maybe killing a few dozen will prove her loyalty. We do not accuse Tali of aiding the Geth cause. We accuse her of carelessness that endangered the fleet. Then it is decided. You will attempt to retake the Alarai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. A shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tali. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been killed in action. Well, that's comforting. Alright, Garrus, let's go. Thank you for agreeing to take back the Alarai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but... I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. Should we talk to people? Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? We can talk with the Admirals. 
It might help us to see what their viewpoints are, but I doubt we'll change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. Are you all right? How are you holding up? They just threw a lot of fire at you, even before telling you about your father. I knew this would be bad, but I guess you're never really prepared to be charged with treason. And my father, I... I don't know. He... he could still be alive. They don't know for certain that he's dead. I just don't know, Shepard. And I need to find out. All right, then let's go. Let's go. Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the Conclave chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. Twelve Understood. Renegade, Whatever yes. Whatever guests are on the Alarai have likely built more of themselves. Expect heavy resistance. Oh, thanks, Edie. All right, let's go and talk to... Shalaran. You set me up, Shala. You told Captain Donna not to say anything? I don't hear that my father may be dead until I'm in the trial? Why? The admirals needed to hear the shock in your voice, Tanya. Mm. Otherwise, they might not have let you try to retake the Alaray. That is your best chance at recovering evidence that can exonerate you. I am sorry. We cannot afford sensitivity, Tali. Hmm. Thanks. Will it help? At least someone here is looking out for Tally. Will retaking the Alari really help her case? Tally showing a desire to correct mistakes she may have made will make up for a lot of lost ground. But more importantly, you may find evidence of what happened. With luck, it will exonerate Tally from any wrongdoing. I'm supposed to care about that now? All I want to do is find Father. You should get to the Alari soon. Is there anything else I can tell you? Let's ask about the necessary evidence. What kind of evidence will carry weight with the Admirals? Tali, you admitted to sending Geth parts to your father for his project. Yes, but never anything that could have come back online on its own. I took every possible precaution. Then find records of your shipment and experiments. Something that proves you were careful. Something that proves that this is all just a terrible accident that nobody could have foreseen. Hmm. Let's ask about the relationship with Rael Zora. How long have you known Tally's family? Since before Rael was an admiral. 25 or 30 years, I'd guess. I was there when Tally was born. Her mother and I had synced up our suits so we could be in the same open air room. I was sick for a week. But it was worth it. I was the one who took Tali from her mother and put her in the bubble. She cried so hard. Hmm. What kind of bubble? I don't understand. You put your children in bubbles? Environmental units. It's a step between relying on the mother's immune system through nursing and getting a suit of one's own. The bubbles let parents take their children out of the clean room safely. We don't wear suits until adolescence. There's a celebration when a child gets her first suit. It's a coming of age. Let's ask about Tally's father. I'm not hearing much about Rail's involvement in Tally's life. It's difficult to explain. I shouldn't. It's all right, Hanshala. No secrets between shipmates. I think I told Shepard about my father. If you say so, Rail was committed to the Quarian cause. That didn't leave him a lot of time for his family. He wanted to give Tally and her mother the home world, or a strong fleet at least. That was how he showed his love. Okay. Let's ask about the lab ship. What can you tell us about the Alarai? Not much, I'm afraid. Riazora only said that he was researching new defense technology. He told me only that he needed any Geth parts or pieces I found. I assumed he was testing weapons on Geth components. We knew nothing until the Alarai sent a distress signal, then went dead. We didn't even know about the Geth until a boarding team was attacked. So, we have no idea? You're saying there's no data about the inside of the ship? That's exactly what I am saying. The Marines who survived and escaped saw bodies in the halls. We must assume the worst. No, we don't. All right, Tally. Um, let's ask about the Admiral's infighting. There seem to be some other arguments going on among the Admirals. 
You caught that? Yes, the guest's presence makes this a touchy issue. The Admiralty Board is trying to determine whether to focus on colonial development or attempt to retake the whole world. You're thinking of war with the Geth? I am not, Tali, but others are. Hmm, that's a bad idea. I know the migrant fleet is formidable, but even you can't take on the Geth. We grow tired of wandering the stars, Shepard. We want our world back. We have paid enough for our mistake. I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm telling you which way the wind is blowing. Hmm, all right, well, thanks for all that. Let's go. We should move on. Good luck on the other eye. Two renegade, nice. All right, who is this over here? Oh. If anyone can retake the, the Alarai, Tali Zora can. The least liked person in the migrant fleet. Let's talk. No, I'm sorry. This is Admiral Garrel. He might be nice. Let's talk to him. Tali. I'm glad Admiral Rahn got you leave to hit the Alarai. Hopefully you'll find something that clears your name. I'm more concerned with finding my father, Admiral. I wish you luck. Blow up some geth on the way. And you're Captain Shepard, Admiral Hangarol Vasnima. To be honest, I was afraid a human would be too meek and humble. Watching you rail away at Admiral Chorus, though, Tally's in good hands. Um... I don't really like the apology thing. He's got nothing to apologize for, so... We're going with so you're on Tally's side. I get the sense you're inclined to believe the defense. I'm glad one of the judges is. If you were only giving Rail inactive equipment for weapons, Tess, I've got no problem. We need to test weapons against Geth material. I know you and your father. You put too much of yourselves into this fleet to do anything to jeopardize our safety. And you're both smart enough not to make mistakes like the ones they're saying you made. Let's ask about his history with Rail Zora. You and Tally's father go back a long ways? We served together on the gunship Yaska during a bad Batarian raid. We were kids, serving pre-pilgrimage as trainees. A crew of ten, and six were dead. Kinetic barriers were down. Rail and I were alone on the bridge and the Batarians had drawn off a tramp freighter. Let's ask what happened. Did you save the freighter? Our ship was under orders to hold position, but Rail looked at me and said, We're underage. They can't charge us for breaking formation. He took the helm, I took weapons, and we brought that freighter back. The crew called us heroes. The brass called us idiots. They slapped medals on our suits, then kicked us off to pilgrimage a bit earlier than usual. <sighs> That's Rail for you. That man's voice sounds familiar. I can't place it, though. All right, uh, let's talk about the other admirals. Can you tell me about the other admirals? Anything that might help me change their minds about Tally? The one you didn't recognize Tally is Admiral Zen. She's on the fence. She takes fleet safety very seriously. On the other hand, she's always been in favor of studying the Geth. I hope she sees the benefits of Rail's research. Admiral Chorus is the same whining suit wetter he always was. Hmm. And what makes Chorus so bad? Aside from his sunny disposition, that is. You disagree with Admiral Chorus's policies, I'm guessing. Or is it personal? The man is a damn geth apologist. Thinks we were wrong to try to destroy them centuries ago. He wants us to search for new colony possibilities instead of taking back the home world. Any research on the Geth makes him angry. You don't have much of a chance with him, I'm afraid. Hmm, so he's pro-Geth, it sounds like. That's not a bad thing. Uh, let's ask about the lab ship. Can you tell me anything about the Alara? Nothing good. We sent some of our best marines into that hellhole. Damn few made it back. Whatever Rail was doing, it blew up in his face. A ship is crawling with Geth. Don't go in expecting survivors. Admiral, my father, your friend, is on that ship. I know that, Tally. But if Shala hadn't suggested you my volunteer, we'd already have destroyed the Alarai. That's where we stand. Let's ask about the Admiral's infighting. 
It sounds like we're dealing with more politics than just Tally bringing back equipment. <laughs> you noticed that, did you? Tally's father wasn't just running weapons tests on the Geth for fun. He was looking for something to give us an edge when we attacked the Geth in full-scale war. I know Father wanted to retake the homeworld someday, but are we that close? I don't know, kid. We almost had the vote. We just need to give people hope for victory. Hmm, that's a risky proposition. I hope the Quarian people find some place to live, Admiral. But it sounds like you're playing with fire. We're too comfortable now, Shepard. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy and we just ride around doing nothing. We might need that fleet to help fight the Reapers, Admiral. Then we need a world to shelter our non-combatants while we do it. Okay. I think that's it. Thanks for the information. Hang in there, kid. Thank you, Admiral. Okay, who else? Alright, here we go. The least liked person in the migrant fleet, but... Sounds like he might be sympathetic to the Geth. Let's see what he has to say. Judging by your ability to play to a crowd, human, I have done Tali a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalkoris Vas Quib Quib. Do not ask about the name. I take no pleasure in this, Tali, truly. You have gravely endangered and dishonored our fleet. Let's ask about his dislike for Tali. What exactly is your problem with my crew member, Admiral? I respect Tali immensely. Her actions against Saren are to be lauded. But, like her father, she wants nothing but the destruction of the Geth. The people we created, the people we wronged. The Geth drove us from our homeworld. Of course they did. We tried to kill them. All right, I've just done a, a complete 360 here. I think I like Admiral Forrest. He's right. I mean, that you know, they are to blame for the Geth. Okay, I'm not going to ask about the ship. Let's ask about the lab ship or the ship's name. The Quib Quib? Nah, we'll skip that. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Only that you should have let us destroy it. When we find the evidence of what Tali and her father did there, any hope of convincing the other admirals will die. I did not bring active Geth to the Alarai, Admiral. I know how dangerous that would be. I only brought pieces. The captured ship with its crew slaughtered by living beings in pain belies your argument. Hmm. All right, let's ask about the Admiral's infighting. You and the other Admirals appear to have some disagreements beyond Tally's trial. You are correct. Tali, I apologize for it being brought into your proceedings. The other Admirals are pushing for war. Railzora was researching new weapons to use against the Geth. They would see our fleet destroyed in the skies over our homeworld, rather than find a new colony and adapt. You favor peace? Can the Quarians coexist with the Geth after all your history? I don't know. We all deserve to find out. They are our children, Shepard. We've all done horrible things to each other, but it has to end. For both groups. That is why I cannot sanction whatever experiments you helped enable, Talizora. I believe this message needs to be sent. I understand, Admiral. I do not agree with you, but I understand. I agree with the Admiral, Tally. Uh-oh, you might be in trouble. <laughs> okay, let's go. We should move on. Goodbye, Talizora. Be well. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I don't hate you, Tali. I just think your father's plans for war were wrong. Okay. So, war or peace? What's it gonna be? Alright, let's go. I think there's another person down here that we need to speak to. It's Vitor, everyone! Vitor! Shepard, how did you get onto the Raya? Shepard is here to help me with my trial. Oh yes, I heard about that. I hope you didn't really do what they said you did. 
No, Vitor. I would never endanger the fleet. Oh, well, good. So, can I help you with anything? I mean, probably not, but you helped me. I hope you all remember Vitor from our first mission. Was it called Freedom's Progress, I believe? When F Shepard was first um, brought back to life? Wow, so we didn't give him to Cerberus, and look, he looks like he's doing fine. All right, so let's ask, do you have more information? Do you remember anything else about the Collectors? Anything at all? Nothing new. I'm sorry. Every time I go back to that place in my mind, I... I... Vitor, come back. It's okay. I want to help, but I can't. I didn't see anything, and what I remember... Don't worry, Vitor. We're going to find the things that did this, and we're going to kill them. Good. Thank you. Will you speak for Tally? Tally could use some friends right now. Would you be willing to tell the Admirals how she helped you? No, I mean, yes, but I already did. They came to see me. I didn't want to talk in a crowd. Vitor is doing well, but he isn't ready for a public speech just yet. I talked to them. So did that soldier, Cal Rieger. We both told them about how you helped us. I hope it helped. I'm sure it did, Vitor. Thank you. All right, well, we should be going. Take care, Vitor, and good luck. You too. Be safe out there. Yeah, if we had turned him over to Cerberus, I don't know if we would see him here, or if he was here, he would be like a, a shell of his former self after being tortured by Cerberus. Anyhow, this is who I wanted to talk to, Admiral Zinn. Tali Zora, given the circumstances, are you certain that speaking to me is appropriate? I'm looking for information about the Alarai. I don't intend to bribe you in the middle of the plaza, Admiral. Pleasure to meet you, Commander Shepard. We owe you a debt of gratitude for your actions against the Geth. Well, at least she got his rank correct. You owe Tally, too. Tally was with me. Saren and the Geth would have destroyed us all without her help. Your political machinations are transparent, Commander. They are also unnecessary. If you and your father were actually experimenting on active Geth subjects, then you are simply idiots. No reason to waste resources on a trial. If not, then this was a tragic accident in the pursuit of a higher cause. Again, no trial is needed to determine that. All right, Zen. <laughs> Let's ask about her lack of interest in the trial. If you're not interested in this trial, why not recuse yourself? And let that aging warship Han Geral and the cowardly Zal Chorus be the ones to chart this course? I think not. The broader purpose underlying the trial is too important. Tali Zora is only peripherally related. No offense intended. And what is the true purpose of this trial, Admiral? To determine whether Quarians should fear their past mistakes or reclaim their glory using our natural affinity for artificial intelligence. Gosh, I know this voice, this actress. I can't think of the name, though. Oh, my goodness. She's been on stuff like... Oh, what was that? The Originals. Claudia Black. This is Claudia Black. Oh, my goodness. See? They went all out, all out for Mass Effect 2. And what did we get in Andromeda? Actors, we didn't even know who they were. All right, okay, let me stop. Um, you study AI. So the only reason you care about this is because Rail might have learned something valuable from the Geth? Indeed. If he has, then even in this accident we may find something worthwhile. You want to create new AIs? No, Tali Zora. I wish to return the Geth to the control of their rightful masters, the Quarian race. You're insane. Uh-oh. Didn't see that coming. Okay, so what are her opinions on Geth? It sounds like your ideas about synthetics are in the minority. Yes, at least on the Admiralty board, Han Geralt sees an enemy that must be crushed. Salchorus would run away and hide on some new colony world. Shalaran is still undecided. I had thought Rail to be firmly in Han's camp, but if his experiments were on active Geth, 
Perhaps we have ideas in common. So you think Rail was right? You support experiments on living creatures? Rail should have felt no more guilt experimenting on Geth than I did while performing surgery on a childhood toy. The fact that you performed surgery on your childhood toys explains a great deal, Admiral. Uh, Aunt Allie. The ship travels faster than uh -uh. I can. With the right programming, it can choose locations, even defend itself when attacked. But it is just a machine. It was built for the sole purpose of serving its master, and it can be dismantled whenever its master desires. Wow. How does this change things? If we don't find Rael alive on the Alarai, what do you think will happen? The power balance will be disrupted. Han loses a vote for his foolish and self-destructive war. That would favor peace, then, as Shah Ran is too careful to risk her own neck. But... If the Admiral replacing Rail agrees with me, things could become very exciting. Wow, okay. Uh, let's ask about the lab ship. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Little. We detected several communication signatures before the Geth jammed the comm systems. Given the likely networked intelligence requirements for taking over a ship, expect between 10 and 50 units. 50? Then this can't have anything to do with me. I only sent parts and pieces, and certainly not enough to make that many guess. Alright, so... It looks like Tally is exonerated then. Alright, we're done talking to this uh, fanatical admiral. Thank you for the information. It was a pleasure to meet you, Commander. And it was good to hear your voice, Claudia Black. I didn't realize she was a voice actress in this game! You've gotta be kidding me! All right, come on, let's go and talk to Cal Rieger. Cal Rieger. Shepard, Telly Zora, good to see you both. Wish you were under better circumstances. What did they get from our readings? Damnedest things, just like they said. No way the sun on Haystrom should have been acting that way. So that dark energy theory is right. That's troubling. Can't really comment on that, ma'am. I just shoot things. So yes, this is why when we were rescuing Tally on Haystrom, I wanted to keep Cal Rieger alive so we can see him again here at the trial. Okay, let's ask about his health. How have you been, Rieger? You took kind of a beating on Haystrom. Physical damage wasn't bad. I was down for about a week with infection, though. Figure I got off easy. I don't have to face those admirals. Hmm, fighting seems risky for you. With your immune systems, it couldn't be easy for Quarians to fight a war. You'd lose more people to infection than injury. We can't afford a frontline attack, that's for sure. Have to fight smart. Ideally from orbit. We do have stockpiles of antibiotics. It's not as though everyone would die from a single shot. No, Shepard's right. You've only seen our strike ops, Tally. Don't have all the fancy equipment in a frontline fight. Supplies get strained. Things get ugly. Fast. Let's ask about dark energy. You said that your mission had something to do with dark energy. Right. Remember the damn sun on Haystrom? Shorted out everything. Way too much radiation? The sun's getting old. Only it's not. Dark energy. It's reducing the mass of the star's interior. Techs are worried. Is this a big problem? What does that dark energy buildup mean? Is it something we should worry about? Sorry, Shepard, I don't know what it means. Just that it has a scientist worried. Hopefully it's isolated. Some rare phenomenon. If dark energy can destabilize solar material. Probably not something to worry about now. But the resources in this galaxy are scarce enough without stars suddenly going dead. Some days I think flying around in the fleet without a planet of our own is the right idea. Hmm. Did the Geth do this? Do you think the Geth are responsible for what's happening to Haystrom's son? Keela, I hope not. They can screw up a star, our chances in war are even worse than I thought. I don't think this is the guess. It would take massive time and resources to affect a star like this deliberately. It's too inefficient to be a weapon, and even the Geth wouldn't destroy a useful star system. Besides, they didn't show up until we did. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're right, ma'am. Synthetic bastards are bad enough as it is. And no one seems to think that the Reapers might be? Responsible for this? Am I the only one? <laughs> oh, 
All right, let's ask about the presence on Raya. What are you doing aboard the Raya? It sounds like you gave your report to the Admiralty already. Well, uh, I stayed to argue the charges against Telly Zora. I've served with her and she deserves better than what she's getting. Thanks, Carl. Just stating facts, ma'am. Can you help somehow? Have you had any luck talking to the Admiralty board? Admiral Ron asked my opinion about the Geth since I'd fought on Haystrom. She and Admiral Garrel are hoping you'll kill a bunch of Geth to get the crowd on your side, then find evidence to clear your name. They were hesitant, but, well, you didn't have many other options, ma'am. I recommended getting you onto the Alarai. I hope you can handle it. You did the right thing. Thank you. Okay, I think we are done here. We should get going. Good luck on the Alarai. Stay safe out there. Thank you. Okay, I think that concludes our chatting with the admirals. About to see some old faces. Okay, and I believe. Okay, that door there looks tempting, but I think I remember that you need to go up this way, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, here we go. Well, all right, folks, that has been quite a bit of talking for one episode, and what a rich story. I mean, you just don't get this in video games anymore. I mean, the, the personalities and whatnot, the excellent voice acting. <sighs> I just, I, I miss games of quality like this, but anyhow. We're going to end the recording here, and we will continue in the next episode of Tally on Trial. This is Hill, and I'm out.